Good morning, everybody. My friend just messaged me letting me know that a thief went underneath her car with the Sawzall and cut out her catalytic converter on her 2015 Prius. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to repair something like that so you can get the car on the road and running again. This won't pass inspection, but it will get the car operational. You can find all of the components that you need for this job at any local auto parts store, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, whatever. You're gonna to wanna to go to the exhaust section where they've got pipes and all of the fittings that you're gonna need right here. I just realized I also need coolant. It's like 11 bucks. There we go. Um, she just canceled on me. Apparently she wants to let her insurance deal with this and they need to send an inspector down. And so if we go in there and we start trying to repair this ourselves, it will affect the insurance adjuster's inspection. And so I got all of these parts to fix her car that I can't use now. So I guess we're starting a vlog instead of a tutorial on how to repair a Prius thing. I literally, did not vlog today because I was going to do the tutorial showing you guys how to repair a Prius exhaust catalytic converter thing. And now half of my day is spent doing nothing. I don't have the receipt, but I bought these recently. So we got off the phone with her insurance and apparently if we try to repair this ourselves before they inspect it, um, they're not gonna file the claim. So, okay, we got all of the parts returned. So you guys do not get a tutorial, I guess. I suppose that means we no longer need to stay in California. So when I returned all of the parts, I guess I forgot to give this little piece of uh, tubing back. And so I kind of got it for free because I definitely returned it and they're paying me for it. So this is what's going to help make sure that her coolant is able to still flow through her engine. Even if she doesn't have the catalytic converter and her exhaust is just super loud, she still needs to close off. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I haven't even seen her car yet. I've just seen videos of her car. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to still go over there and like inspect it and like help her out or if I just want to like hit the road and leave California now. I'm not sure how honest I want to be about this right now because I'm pretty sure I'm going to say something that I regret later. But when she first messaged me, I think yesterday, um, she was freaking out. She just got her thing stolen and I was walking her through the options and I let her know that it was easy to fix. And she was super um, ecstatic that there would be a quick and easy fix to be able to get her car running again. But then watching on her story, um, she started talking about me like I was her personal free mechanic that was just going to come over to her place and do all of this work for her. Um, like the way that she phrased this, she's like, I'm just going to have Nate come look at this and then I'm going to have Nate look at that and then I'm going to have Nate do this. Like, I, I, I feel like my generosity is being taken advantage of a little bit. She still wants me to come down and look at her car. Even after I've returned all of the parts, we're not going to be fixing anything. She just wants me to come look at it. I can't figure out what I want to do because everything just feels like a bad idea right now. I want to go head up to Washington on the I-5 uh, because it's cooler there. And there's a guy, one of my fans wants to give me his car to strip it for parts. It's a Pontiac, it's a Grand Prix, I think it's like a 2004. He's just letting me use his old car to peel any pieces that I want off of it. So that includes things like the steering wheel or this drink console. So that sounds fun. Um, but if I go up, then that means that I can't go down. And my mom is down in uh, New Mexico. Some of my friends are down there. So I have to either pick between getting stuff for my car or visiting my family. Um, and so I'm just indecisive and I can't pick. I want to go to Golden Corral because I'm in a bad mood. So I want to go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. There is one. It's like 10 miles away. So you would think that that's like not... Uh, no. Google Maps says it'll be over 45 minutes to get there. 10 miles. 45 minutes to go 10 miles because of the Los Angeles traffic. Everything just feels like a bad idea right now. Okay, I've decided. It is not Golden Corral, but Olive Garden, they have all-you-can-eat breadsticks and soup. That's basically a buffet if all you want is breadsticks and soup, right? We are about seven minutes away. I added a poll on YouTube, so you guys will get to decide if we head up north toward Washington or south toward New Mexico. So you guys pick where we go next. Oh, I remember back when I was in Europe, I used to let you guys pick my meals. You guys would like to, oh, that's some memories, man. I'm not doing that now. We're getting Mick Riddles. That's it. I just heard something scratch against the ground. Here's hoping it's not my exhaust pipe. I hope I didn't leave any metal back there, fuck. Nope, everything looks good. I don't know what that sound was. Huh. Wait a minute, actually. Not sure if you guys can see this, but that guy is missing a bolt. Where the fuck did it go? Huh. That might be the problem with my exhaust. I just might have to put a bolt back in that. 
windows going up. It's crazy to me that some people have a problem eating by, the, oh, I left my phone in my car. It's crazy to me that some people have a problem eating by themselves. Like they have this idea that if they go to a restaurant, they need to have somebody there sitting across from them to like talk to or something. I don't know. The solution to that problem is headphones and YouTube. I don't need anybody else. <laughs> okay, do you guys wanna take a look at the menu? Okay, so this is what we want. We want the never ending soup, salad, and breadsticks. That's, mm, I think 9.99. It is my goal to make sure that they lose money on this transaction. I'm gonna eat that much breadsticks and soup. Oh, I can order on this little thing. Oh, they won't let me order the entrees. That's what, so the servers are still useful. They're not completely replacing them. No, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And then you said the pasta for Jolie, right? Yep, you are. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay, anything else for you? Nope, thank okay. you so much. So we get unlimited soup like this, and we get unlimited breadsticks. I don't think we get unlimited red sauce with the breadsticks, so I think I need to ask her for red sauce. Then again, maybe the soup can be the red sauce. Okay, so the breadsticks are fine. Soup is fine too. They did give me a salad though too, so I should probably eat that, right? I just assume you guys will want to see this. Here's how I'm deciding to eat the soup and the breadsticks. You put, use your thumb and you make like a divot in the breadstick towards like a boat, and then you've got a bread spoon. Boom, one soup and breadsticks done. Okay, soup and breadsticks number two. Boom, second one done. Okay, it seems like three is the limit. Check it out though, it looks like I can pay just using this guy. I don't even need to talk to the waiter. The little machine even prints receipts. Oh, well, that's cool. So I think that means we can just leave. I paid for this at the machine over there, am I good? Yeah, oh, yeah cool. you're all set. Cool, cool. Look at all the people waiting for dinner. We got there just in time, I guess. Okay, I'm struggling right now because I am way too full. But I will say that the breadsticks are just not even that good. And they charge you like $6 if you want red sauce with it. The soups are... I would have much preferred an actual all-you-can-eat buffet because they have pizzas and burgers and they've got like desserts. So next time we're in a place that has a golden corral, we're going there. Olive Garden is trash. Like when I ordered, I thought I was ordering something that was $9.99. And I ended up paying $25 for something that I thought would be $10. Salt. Oh, I looked out into the parking lot and I couldn't see my car and I freaked out. It's right there, but Jesus Christ, every time I can't see my car immediately, I have like a panic attack. You know what we are gonna do tonight? We are gonna get a hotel. I've got a free hotel saved up from all of the other hotels that we've been to. So it's free and we're gonna take it. Check it out, we can stay at the Quality Inn and Suites completely for free. And it's only seven minutes away. Moral of the story, if you guys are ever booking hotels, use some place that has a rewards program that'll give you points and stuff for booking through them. Oh my God, you guys, check this out. Our hotel is directly adjacent to a McDonald's. We can get McGriddles for breakfast without needing to check out first. And we will just slide in right here. Nathaniel Hayes. Okay, we are in room 321. <laughs> here we are. So this room would have cost us like a hundred-ish dollars, right? If we were actually paying for this normally. We've got a bed, we've got a couch. I'm not sure what kind of view we have, but I think we have a balcony. Yeah, look at that. Open up. We have a great view of a gas station. Oh, and I can see my car, so that's cool. Oh my God, the most important thing. Look at that, boom. Fantastic. Places like this are interesting to me because I've stayed in uh, hotels overseas in like really cheap countries. There was one particular hotel in Georgia that cost like $18 a night that is on par with this place. It had a shower, it didn't have a bathtub, but $18 a night for like clean sheets, like it, it felt like a very Western hotel down in Batumi, Georgia. I miss that, I really miss the places that are super cheap and like everything feels so expensive here. I could, I could blow $300 in a day pretty easily here. Like just walking through the mall you could easily go three, four hundred dollars. 
Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting a sunburn. I can feel it. Rip. Look at this tan line. Okay, yeah, so tomorrow we are heading down to the Mexican border. Cool. You guys wanna head to Tijuana?